It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Diabetes insipidus and mellitus in dogs, causes, symptoms and what to do. Diabetes insipidus and diabetes mellitus are two different types of diabetes in dogs and both can be serious if left untreated. Diabetes insipidus is also known as aquatic diabetes and is the rarest form. It affects water metabolism and prevents the body from conserving water, causing increased urination and dilute, almost clear urine. Diabetes mellitus in dogs, which is also known as sugar diabetes. Diabetes mellitus is a disease of the pancreas that affects the body's ability to convert food into fuel. 1. Causes and Symptoms of Diabetes Insipidus Diabetes insipidus occurs in two forms in dogs, and both are related to the pituitary gland and cause similar symptoms. Central diabetes insipidus occurs when the pituitary does not release enough of a hormone called vasopressin, an antidiuretic. Birth defects, head injuries, or tumors can cause central diabetes insipidus. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is the other form. It occurs when the kidneys do not respond to the vasopressin produced by the pituitary. Birth defects, exposure to medications, metabolic disorders, or kidney failure can cause it. Both types will cause the following symptoms in dogs. Excessive urination. Drinking excessively and being thirsty. Weight loss. Decreased urination due to dehydration. Poor coat health. 2. Causes and symptoms of diabetes mellitus in dogs. Diabetes mellitus is a pancreatic condition that also occurs in two forms in canines. Insulin deficiency diabetes mellitus occurs when the body does not produce enough insulin, a hormone that tells the body's cells to take glucose, a type of sugar, from the bloodstream to use as fuel. An insulin-resistant diabetes mellitus occurs when the body produces enough insulin, but the cells do not respond properly and do not absorb glucose. Obesity, pancreatitis, steroids, other health conditions, and genetics can play a role in causing both types of diabetes mellitus, and both cause the following symptoms. Increased urine. Drinking excessively and being thirsty. Your breath smells sweet or fruity. Dehydration. Change in appetite. Weight loss. Lethargy. Vomiting. Urinary tract infection skin infections, cataracts or blindness. 3. Treatment for diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus is rare, but should be treated with medical treatment. Treatment of central diabetes insipidus is usually done by giving your dog synthetic hormones that mimic those of the pituitary gland called desmopressin acetate. This reverses the symptoms of dangerously frequent urination and also most other symptoms associated with the condition. It is administered through the eyes or nose and must be administered for the rest of the dog's life. Treatment for nephrogenic diabetes insipidus may include synthetic hormones, but this is usually not enough. A dog may also be given diuretics, oral salt, and chlorothiazide, which will help make the urine more concentrated and reduce the risk of dehydration. Some pet owners may choose not to treat their dog with medication, however, a dog with diabetes insipidus must have water available at all times and will need to urinate frequently. Dehydration becomes a serious risk and can lead to death. 4. Treatment for Diabetes Mellitus This disease is quite common. But the good news is that it is also treatable and manageable. The average age at which dogs contract diabetes mellitus is between 6 and 9 years. Some breeds, such as German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, Poodles, Caissons, and Miniature Pinchers, are more vulnerable to the disease, although all breeds can contract it. Females are three times more likely than males to develop diabetes. Diabetes mellitus can be serious. If left untreated, it can cause cataracts, liver and bladder problems, weakness, and coma. Diabetes mellitus is treated with daily insulin injections and diet. It is essential to know exactly when and how much insulin to administer, and to stick to the schedule. Otherwise, you could end up with an insulin overdose or an attack of hypoglycemia, abnormally low blood sugar. If your diabetic dog is overweight, you should monitor his diet and make sure he gets enough exercise. Your veterinarian can help you work toward getting your dog to a healthier weight. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, 
If you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.